All right, let's, welcome to lesson 6.3, uh, 6 ways of getting paid. Now there's going to be two. That's the reason why it's ways of getting paid one is that we're going to cover all this in two lessons. If we take a look at this chart here, it says uh, there are lots of different ways of getting paid. Different jobs pay in different ways. So the one that we've talked about already is the hourly wage. And within hourly wage, we're going to be covering today, like when you get extra, uh, instead of just your regular hourly wage, there's also something called time and a half, and there's double time. And the other thing that we're going to cover in this one is commission. So uh, just really quickly, one thing that I could say is that if you're doing uh, time and a half, really that means you're going to get more per hour than you regularly would. In fact, you're going to get your regular hourly rate times 1.5. Your double time, you're going to be getting twice your hourly rate. So if you have to come in on a on a Sunday or a, or on a holiday, you know, you hear, hear people say, yeah, you know, this is a holiday and I have to work today, and, but that's okay because I'm getting time and a half. So they're going to be getting one and a half times what they normally would. And sales uh, or commission is usually based on a sales job where it's some percentage of your sales. So that's kind of an overview. I guess the first thing that we could take a look at is a couple definitions. So when we're doing an hourly wage, uh, you can have a regular, regularly, regular, I think it's regular, I should take off the L-Y, regular hourly rate, also known as the rate you are normally paid. Uh, when would you get more than your regular hourly rate? Well, there's a few occasions. Like I said, if you work on a holiday, or depending on the job, sometimes if you work more than 40 hours in a week, or de also depending on the job, sometimes if you're asked to work more than eight hours in a day, uh, they'll call that overtime, and you'll get more per hour than you would than your regular hourly rate. So let's do an example here. Here's one where it says, Oscar's usual hourly rate wage is $12.45. On holidays, he gets time and a half. Find Oscar's hourly wage if he works on July 1st, which is a holiday because it's Canada Day. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the hourly rate is going to be. So we're going to say, okay, if we have this uh, $12.45 for every hour, and we're going to multiply that by, so time and a half, that's 1.5. So we're going to multiply that times 1.5. And if we use our calculator for that, I think it turns out to uh, 18 point six seven five so as an hourly wage what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to figure that out to the nearest cent so where is the cent on that one well the one is the ten dollars the eight is the dollars the six is the ten cents and the seven so to the nearest cent so we're going to have to like ask ourselves are we going to keep that as $18.67 or $18.66 and you remember what the rule is. If the if the next digit over is five or greater then we go higher. So we're gonna in this case we're gonna say okay that turns into $18.68. So there's our answer there. Um, is that all we have to do? Find the hourly wage. Okay, so the hourly wage that he can, he's going to get for that Canada Day is $18.68. Okay, um, double time means times two. And here's a question that says, ICRA's usual hourly wage is $13.50. Uh, when she works more than 40 hours in a week, uh, she gets her regular wage for the first 40 and then double time on the additional hours. Last week, Ikra worked 47 hours. Find her gross income for the week. Okay, so that 47 hours is going to break up into, we're going to break that into 40 regular hours and 7 double time hours. So under the 40 regular hours, it's fairly straightforward. We're going to say for those first 40, Oh, I, mean, I think I'll switch to green here. For the first 40, uh, that she's going to get paid that regular $13.50 for every hour. So if I multiply 40 times 13.50, I'm going to get $540. Looking over to her double time, well, before I do this, I'm going to say, what is her double time rate? So I'm going to go and say 13.50 times 2. So she's going to have a, a double time rate of 
$27 for every hour. And she worked seven double time hours. So I'm going to say seven times $27 is going to be equal to um, $189. So now I need to add together these two totals. Okay, so I'm going to say the total is going to be that 540 plus the 189. So she's going to get a total of $729. Put a box around my answer. Okay, well I hope that makes sense to you. Now let's take a look at commission. When you get commission, you get... People working on commission earn a percentage of their sales. And the percentage can vary from job to job. So here are the basic steps. First of all, determine what the sales were. So like, what's the value of all the cars you sold? Or what's the value of all the furniture you sold, if that's what you're selling? Um, then change the commission percent into a decimal. So 5%, for example, is 0 0.05. So how do you change it into a... Uh, a decimal is that you do that dividing by a hundred or if you if you can do it quick you can move the decimal over two places but you divide by a hundred uh, and then you multiply the total sales by the percent as a decimal and then if there's any additional salary you can add that in so let's take a look here we've got an example David earns a 7.5 commission on his sales if he sells $1,500, what is his gross pay? So I'm going to just take it real slow here. So step one was determine the total sales. So the total sales, that's the $1,500, right? The number two, step number two was change the commission percent into a decimal. Okay, so in this case, it's 7.5. Uh, and then I'm going to say to change it into a decimal, I have to divide by 100. And that moves the decimal over two places. So I'm th sort of thinking, okay, it goes like once and then twice. So it's going to end up being uh, 0 0.075 as a decimal. And then step number three was multiply the total sales, total sales was 1,500, times 0 0.075. And I get uh, the commission, which was $112.50. Um, add any additional salary if applicable that doesn't say anything else. So I think th that person, what was it, David, only gets money from commission, doesn't get any salary on top of that. Uh, okay, I got one more example here. It says, John sells a coach for $1,200 and a love seat for $800. If he earns a 7.5% commission, what is his gross pay? So the first part is determine the total sales. So the total sales is going to be, well, it, we're just going to add those two together, $1,200 and $800. So the total sales is 2000 Uh If he earns 7.5% commission. Well, we already know that that 7.5% just put it over here it was 0 0.075 because we've done it once already so that was the next step so our next thing is multiply it out so we're going to get 2000 times 0 0.075 and um not sure what that one is i guess i would have to get my calculator out oh it's 150 dollars all right one last example. Uh, Kim earns $125 per day plus a three and three quarter percent on her sales. If she sells a car for $25,000, what is her gross pay? Okay, so uh, first of all, we know th the step one part is uh, the total sales. We know the total sales is going to be equal to this $25,000. Um, but the percentage, it's a little bit harder now, isn't it? Because this is at three and three quarter percent. So three and three quarter percent and we need to divide that by a hundred to turn it into a decimal so what is uh, what are we going to do with the three quarters well what you can do is if you're just thinking about what does this fraction mean you can say well that fraction three quarters uh, I'll do the work over here three quarters uh, you could do in your calculator three divided by four and if you find that out that is 0 0.75 so over here, we're going to get 3.75 divided by 100 to change it into a decimal. So we'll get 0 
three, seven, five. Uh, so there's our decimal. So then the next thing we want to do is say, okay, $25,000 was the amount of the sales times 0 0.0375. And we're going to get our commission, which is $937.50. That's the commission. Now, Kim also earns $125 per day. So even if Kim did not sell anything, uh, they would still get $125. So I'll add the $125 in there. So the total, $1,062.50. Boy, that's if that was over a day, that would be a great payday. Okay, so that's it for that video. So uh, hopefully you can be good to do the worksheet. Oh, I'm just going to show you one thing about the worksheet because it can get kind of tricky. If you've got the regular time and you want to figure out the time and a half, if you're going this way, you're going to multiply by 1.5, right? Which is all good. But then like, what What about when you get to this last one and you're, you're given the $9 and if you want to go backwards, if you know the time and a half is $9, you know the regular time is going to be less. So instead of multiplying by 1.5, what you can do is divide by 1.5 and get this number, right? And then what about double time? Well, to do double time, uh, you go from regular to double, you say times two. So whatever number you get there, you can say times two and put over there. And I would suggest you don't write those big arrows everywhere because it might get a little bit messy. Okay, so um, I hope that works for you and uh, I'll see you later.